get it, yeah Suck it up, life's tough, we know that Someone's got better stuff and can throw cash Tell them I don't give a fuck, make my own path I don't need no handouts, I'm my own man Gotta get it, I'll get it, get it, and best, yeah Gotta go Last time I brought you a Redeemer Prime video which showcases how powerful this new gun blade is. Along with it, are some synergies that works really well with the Redeemer Prime. Some of you requested a follow up on that vid, or more specifically, a detailed guide on each synergies. I'm done with the Inaros synergy, which you can check the link at the end of this video. And today, we will be taking a closer look on how Nidus synergies really well with the Redeemer Prime. This synergy is pretty straightforward, Nidus is tough and his endgame potentials. In fact, if you know his kit, and use it well, then you won't die playing this frame. Another great quality about this frame is he has good control in the field, he offers crowd control with his fourth and second ability, but among the two, the best is his second ability, which is called Lava. With a single cast, Nidus can pull a large group of enemies depending on how long range you mod this frame. After that, enemies that are grouped in our lava are helpless and we can kill them any way that we want. But, the best way to kill these enemies, is by using weapons with punch through. And, this is where Redeemer Prime comes to play. Not only that this gun blade has innate punch through, and can hit almost all enemies grouped by our lava, but it has some really sick firepower when modded well, that it can kill any type of target in a matter of seconds. Now let's proceed on how to mod both Nidus and Redeemer Prime for this synergy. First, let's discuss about Nidus. So this is my current endgame setup for Nidus. Take note that this is for high level missions, and mostly endurance runs in long survival missions. And of course, it is tailored towards my play style and, you can replace any mods in here, and tune this build to your own liking. But before you do that, let me explain first why I choose to equip each mods, beginning with the Umbral mods. Basically, these two mods serves two purpose, to increase the effective health of this frame, and give us more power strength, but the downside of having umbral mods is that it takes a lot of mod capacity, which is why I choose steel charge for the aura, not only does this aura increase the mod capacity of this frame, but this does increase the damage of our redeemer prime, including its shot mechanic, as you can see, I have used all the mod capacity in this mod setup, that is why I have rage only, and not hunter adrenaline, this mod over here, takes care of our energy, along with our virulence ability, speaking about our virulence, this ability does work well when we have negative efficiency, which is why I choose to have blind rage, it's because energy refund is inversely affected by ability efficiency due to the fact that it is always 25% of energy used to cast, per enemy, plus, blind rage does increase my heal rate and the damage of my virulence so, it's probably a win-win situation for me. Stretch and overextended are basically for my lava ability and as well as my link ability. And, I choose to have adaptation because it synergies really well with Nidus link. Do remember that his link ability provides 90% damage redirection. And adaptation does lower the damage you take, which in return, lowers the damage redirected to the link target. Long story short, it makes you tougher to kill. Lastly, I have Prime Flow. Now this is a personal preference but let me explain why I have this mod in my setup. It's because when you are facing level 200 plus enemies or more, damage reduction is not enough. You need his passive, which gives you invulnerability. Remember that your passive needs mutation stacks to activate, and in my experience, you will need to have full stack always, as your passive will get triggered often times against endgame enemies. It's really convenient for this setup to have that extra amount of energy, or even full 400 plus energy always, to help you cast all your abilities, and not just rely solely on your virulence and rage to regain your lost energy. In addition, spamming your first ability, and stacking mutations will be much easier with 400 plus energy on my arsenal. But like I've said, this mod only works for my play style, you can use other mods in this slot. Say, you can actually use the insatiable augment to replace energy in this slot. Okay, now that we are done with Nidas, let's proceed on how to mod Redeemer Prime. Modding Redeemer Prime for this synergy requires no effort, in fact, you can achieve this setup with zero former, even an unranked Redeemer Prime can do the job, it's just slower as this attack speed mod will be missing, so anyway, what you need to do is achieve 100% status chance with the help of these 4 dual status mods, plus the drifting contact mod, add primed pressure point and then prime fury, and you have a gun blade that will wreak havoc, by the way, the normal fury and pressure point mod does work also for this setup, in case you don't have these primed mods just yet, and of course, add condition overload in the mix to increase your damage, 
Remember that we have 100% status chance and, the bullet dance mod does turn our gun blade into a rapid fire shotgun, which means we can proc a lot of status, which then increases our total melee damage. Against level 130 plus enemies, this combo is pretty wicked, you just group them with your lava, and then kill them with your redeemer prime. However, when you are facing level 200 plus enemies, I advise you to use a primary or secondary weapon that can strip armors, especially when you are facing units that are heavily armored. One example is the box. You can throw your pox projectile on the grouped enemies, and then press and hold your melee attack to do a charge attack on your gun blade. So that's it. I hope that you will enjoy this synergy. Don't forget to check back later as I got more videos in stored for you guys. Please do leave a like if you enjoyed watching this video and, subscribe for more Warframe content. Also, come visit our Discord server and, you can also follow me on Twitter if you want. Links are on the video description below. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off. It's just not fair It's just not fair It's just not fair